Hello everybody, welcome to Lightbulb Biology, and today we are going to be talking about cheek cells. I still can remember the first time that I put cheek cells under the microscope. I was in 10th grade, pretty sure it was 10th grade, at least that's the time that I remember. I put those under there and to understand that each one of those little cells is its own little living thing and that little piece makes up you and somehow all these little pieces, these little blocks come together to become you all these different little living things working together to create one super thing, which would be you. And I, I was just blown away by that. So today we are going to look at cheek cells under the microscope. Uh, I will be using a particular stain. It has taken me years and years and years to find the best stain to make the cheek cells look, I think the best to really get the uh, ultimate view of them. So we're gonna go through the steps to make those cheek cells look great underneath the microscope. I am again going to be using this little uh, adapter for my cell phone so you'll be able to see exactly what it is that I see. And I hope you'll be just as amazed on the cheek cells as I was the first time that I witnessed them. So let's get working on it. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is get some cheek cells and we're gonna be placing them onto a slide. This slide's a little dirty, but it'll be all right. So to get the cheek cells, all I do is take a toothpick. I'm not digging for gold. I'm just scraping on the inside of my cheek, both sides, and making the toothpick get hopefully covered in some cheek cells. So here we go. The other. And that's it. And it doesn't even look like there's anything on there, but I will smear that on my slide and it'll, it should look like there's just slime on there. So that's good. We're set with that. Now we need to put a stain on it. And the stain that I end up finding works the best. I know a lot of people will use blue food coloring. Some will use a methylene blue. I think methylene blue is probably the most common. But what I found out that works the absolute best, and I've labeled it cheek cell stain, is dilute crystal violet. Uh, if you can, it's sold readily at science supply stores and whatnot. Um, but that hands down for me is the best type of cheek stain. So we're going to put a drop of it on our slide and drop that down at an angle. And the reason why I put this down at an angle is it decreases the number of air bubbles and that should do it. So in the end, I get a slide that looks like that. A couple air bubbles in there, but it's not too bad. I'll put that under my microscope. I am going to start at low power. I'm going to bring my stage all the way up. I'm going to put the slide in the center. I'm going to make sure that it's on. We've gone over that multiple times in previous episodes, so hopefully it's becoming second nature. So here we have the microscope under low power, and you can see all these tiny little cells. And I just did a tiny scraping, and I got thousands of cells under there. Pretty amazing. Now I'm going to go to medium power here, and obviously we see less of our slide, but more zoomed in, so our cells look a little bit bigger. And again, pretty amazing to see all these individual single units. Now we're going to go to high power, and this is where we're really going to start to see some of these cell parts. And I'll focus it up here, get my slide centered. And the first thing that I'm going to notice is the outside layer, which is our cell membrane of this single cell here. And now I'm going to look at the pink fluid part on the inside, which is your cytoplasm. These little dots inside are going to be vacuoles that store stuff. And then finally, that darker dot inside is going to be our nucleus that controls the cell. So those are the different cell parts that you can find under high power. So that's it. That's the cheek cell. I've been doing this lab well over 20 years and it still fascinates me. I just find it so amazing that there are these tiny little living things, all these separate little living things that are all pieced together like a puzzle, how they all work together to create you or to create me. 
just mind blowing. So you should have had a nice slide prepared. We saw how you just use a little toothpick, minor uh, scrapes on the cheek, smear it on the slide, crystal violet diluted, put that cover slip down at an angle to reduce the air bubbles, put under the microscope, and then we saw cell membranes, that outside layer lets things in and out. We saw cytoplasm, the fluid part of the cell. We saw the vacuole, the storage spots, the tiny little circles that are in there. And probably one of the most important parts is that nucleus. And I know we generally just say it controls the cell, but we are going to go in way more detail on how it actually controls that cell, which is also fascinating. So I think that's it. I hope you find it as fascinating as I do, or at least half as fascinating as I do, because I'm, again, I'm just blown away by it. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. So remember, I'm just like you, trying to learn some new things. I am going to make some mistakes along the way, but I am gonna have fun doing it. So until next time, see you guys.